say hi to somebody near you and then join us in singing. Father, we thank you for your presence with us today. And, and Lord, that is, uh, that's the desire of our heart, that we would be, that our eyes would be open to see you today. That we would see you uh, in this place, that we would see you in one another, 
that we would see you in our circumstances, we would see you in the world, that we would see you as you are high and lifted up, shining in your light and your glory. So pour out your power and love, Lord, and we say you are holy. And you are welcome here in this place today. May we be refreshed and encouraged in you, and Lord, may you be, uh, may it bring you pleasure to know the hearts and the praises of your people. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Morning, everyone. Wow, you guys are so quiet. I want to welcome you here to church this morning. I am glad that you are here. And a uh, special welcome if you're visiting with us this morning, too. We're glad that you've joined us here. And uh, I look forward to us worshiping God together. He's worthy of us doing that. Uh, I just want to make you aware of a few family announcements. Um, one is that next Sunday morning, we are going to be having a baptism service as a part of our morning service. And so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, there's two people who are getting baptized. And I want to make you aware because one of the practices that we have in our church is that when there's a baptism we give opportunity for people to share a verse give a word of encouragement and so um, you may want to come prepared uh, to share a verse or a word of encouragement with one of the two that are getting baptized next Sunday so uh, Carissa Matina is getting baptized and also Kenny Lewin and so we look forward to that and uh, it'll be an awesome service next Sunday uh, also just want to let you know that uh, for youth there is youth Sunday school today so when uh, all the other kids are dismissed, youth, uh, we have Sunday school on the other side as well. And then uh, Tuesday night youth, we have Life 360 here at the church. And then on Friday, we are doing an epic dodgeball tournament. So you have to come uh, prepared, you know, maybe dress retro. Yeah, ask your parents what that means. Um, but we're going to have a great time. And we're actually meeting at Gull Lake Center at the camp in the gym. Uh, and we're going to put together a big tournament and have a lot of fun. So just to make you aware of that. All right, I want to also pray, so as we continue to worship, let's pray together again. Father God, this morning we're gathering in this place, in this room, um, as a group of people who, uh, many of us who love you and are seeking you, and some who are questioning and wondering who you are, but we are all coming together in this place. Um, to seek after you and to hear from you. And so, God, we invite you by your spirit to uh, make yourself known to us this morning, to um, help us to better see you and understand you. God, I pray that through worship and us offering you our praise and through hearing your word and receiving communion together, I pray that we would... Um, enter into time with you and engage with you. God, I pray that we wouldn't go through motions, that, that going to church isn't just a routine. It's about meeting with you, and we really want to do that this morning. And I thank you that we can meet in this place to do that together. And I thank you for each person who's here. Uh, we're here by your plan, by your design, not by accident. And so, God, we want to uh, meet with you, and we invite you to speak to us, and God, help us to also prepare our hearts to bring ourselves to you. And I pray all this in your name. Amen. <clears throat> we're uh, we're going to do a couple of new songs today, or they might be new to you. Um, they're new to our congregation for sure. But this first one is, uh, it's called Awake My Soul. And, uh, you know, the image that comes to my mind, the, the words are, and I'll ask you guys to sing this with me when we start, it's breathe on me, breath of God, breathe on me. And one of the images that comes to my mind is in the, in the story of Genesis of creation, when, when God created man, he lifted him up and, and breathed into him life. And it's such a beautiful image because it, it, would, it would indicate that the first thing that man saw when he opened his eyes and was alive was the face of God. That God was close enough to breathe into him and to give him life. And it's a beautiful image of, of us drawing life from God 
in our circumstance, in our life, in our struggles, in the, in the places where we live, in our relationships, and, and in our own souls. And, we, and so today we, we pray in that same way. We say, God, breathe on me. Breathe on us. That we might be made alive in you. And that we might open our eyes and see your face. And so as we sing that, that's, that's our prayer, that God would breathe on us today. You can stand and join us if you would, or you're welcome to, to stay seated as well.
when you breathe on me
Father, today as we gather in your presence, we, we take um, strength and, and hope in knowing that you have redeemed us. And today as we celebrate and remember your sacrifice, Lord, we thank you for when we were without hope, you came to us. I thank you that you wash away from us every trace of sin and shame. And you place within us a new life in righteousness and holiness. You come and make your home in us by your spirit. Lord, be enthroned in us today and may we, may we know the, the closeness of your presence with us. We open our lives to you and invite you to breathe upon us, to fan us into flame, to, to sift the chaff and to water the seed. These things we pray in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh, kids, you can be dismissed to Sunday school. Bless you as you go. Youth Sunday school today too, Pastor Rob. Yeah. Same time. And youth, you can be dismissed to Sunday school as well. Thanks. a moment while we do our little shuffle here from the other side.